This is my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belt. I earned this belt a couple weeks ago during promotion day at my academy. It means a lot to me because I've had my eyes all set on this thing for a long time. Two years, actually. Two long years. For two years, I've had my face smashed into mats. I've had my limbs, my joints contorted, twisted in every conceivable way. And I've had grown ass men, 20, 50, 100 pounds heavier than myself, choking the life out of me. One time, literally. Now, of course, I've also done some of the choking and twisting and all that fun stuff, but that's not the point. The point is, this right here is two years of grit and perseverance. Two years of struggle and self-discipline. And even though I still have a long way to go on this journey, this is an accomplishment I'm beyond excited to have achieved. And if I've learned one thing from this, it is simply this. There is one main ingredient you need to win at what it is that you're doing. One simple thing. You may have already guessed what it is from the introduction. Persistence. Persistence is that quiet ability to keep showing up when it sucks. To keep going when it hurts. To keep fighting on when it looks and feels like nothing is going to come from your effort. Persistence is your secret weapon. I want you to think about your goals for a minute, whatever it is that you have on your mind, or whatever it is that you think you want to achieve. And I use the word think deliberately, because many people think that they want to do X, Y, and Z, but when they finally realize what's involved in achieving that goal, we all of a sudden see how really important it is to them. They don't want to get their arms and legs twisted. They don't want to get their face smashed in. They don't want to get choked out for their goal. Metaphorically speaking, of course. And because of that, they quit. They give up. And you might ask yourself, why is that such a big deal? Why is it such a big deal to quit, Alex? Well, let me tell you why. Because once it starts, it tends to continue. If you quit on goal X, you will most likely quit on goal Y. And if you quit on goal Y, you increase the probability of you quitting on goal Z. And before you know it, you've now established a pattern, a track record, if you will, of failure after failure after failure in your life. And what this does is it acts as irrefutable evidence, proof that you are incapable of following through on the things that you say you're going to do. And this hinders your confidence, your self-belief, and your ability to go out there and do something in the world, whatever it is that you want. So, before you embark on anything that you know will take a long time, I want you guys to ask yourself this simple question. And really ponder it. Just take a, take, take a minute and be honest with yourself. Am I willing to go two years of seeing no positive results? Two years of falling flat on my face? Two years of struggle before I get what I want? And if you're not willing to do that, you might want to find something else to do with your time. And I don't say that to be mean or to discourage you or anything like that. On the contrary, I say it because I care. I know firsthand the damage that jumping from one thing to another and never finishing what you start can do. I spent the majority of my 20s coming through that process, and it's not a fun place to be. So, coming back to persistence, how do you develop it? How do you gain that ironclad quality to push through the defeat and the disappointment and the failure and all of that other stuff? It starts with a very simple process. It's called keeping your word. And a couple weeks ago, I gave a speech called the 100 Day Challenge. If you remember, it starts with you just starting off, taking on one minor challenge that you want to do for yourself, whatever it is. It could be eating an apple a day, starting a journal. It could be exercising. And you do that for 100 straight days. And what this does is it builds a little confidence within yourself. And if, by the way, this is not set in stone. If 100 days is a bit of a stretch, go for 30. Go for one week. 
The idea is just to do something that's going to challenge you. The idea is to do something that's going to allow you to see yourself as a competent person where you can keep your word, where you can honor your own commitments and your promises to yourself or to others. And you build on top of that. You go one week, you go one month. If you go one month, you can go one year. If you can go one year, you can go until you get what it is that you want. The problem with most of us is that we're just weak-willed. We find it very difficult to push through that feeling as if that it's not going to happen. But I can tell you right now, if you're able to do that, if you're able to just find it within yourself to keep going, 